Hey game devs, welcome back. This tutorial is part of a series how to become a game developer. Currently I show you how to create game assets like a 3D character. But the character is still not finished. It is a colorless shell. So how can we add further details? If you don't want to have a single color mesh, and if you want to add details like tattoos, scars, hairs, etc. It is necessary to create a proper texture. A texture is a 2D image file which will be wrapped over your 3D mesh. But how do we know where to place our design elements on a flat space so that it will be on the right position of our 3D mesh? To solve this problem I want to introduce you... 1. The UV editor. The letters U and V denote the axis of the 2D texture because X, Epsilon and Z are already used to denote the axis of the 3D object in model space. The rendering computation uses the UV texture coordinates to determine how to paint the three-dimensional surface. The process unfolds the 3D mesh geometry by defining seams, which cuts our mesh into several pieces in the UV editor. There you are able to lay out the vertices on the flat page. 2. Where to find the UV editor in Blender Do you know that you can add multiple workspaces in Blender? It is possible to show your mesh and the UV editor at the same time on your screen. In the bottom row you can see that you are currently in the 3D viewport. Left beside this button you see three oblique lines. Press and hold the symbol and move your mouse to the top. Release the mouse button. Now you added a new workspace. We have split our screen to two different areas. This new workspace has selected the 3D view editor as well. Press this button now and select UV image editor. You should see now this 2D space with the square in the middle. This square defines the area of your texture which will be created later in Photoshop or in other 2D painting software. 3. Unwrap The UV editor show you the UV layout of your 3D object. But why I see nothing in the UV editor when I select the character in the 3D viewport? Maybe switch to edit mode with tabulator? No, for sure there is nothing, because you haven't unfolded your mesh yet. This process is called unwrap. I find this function in my 3D viewport by pressing U. This button calls up the UV mapping window. Be sure that you have selected all faces you want to unwrap. Now click on unwrap. And BAM! The result is a grid structure of your 3D mesh in 2D space. Easy! But stop! One moment, this is not done yet. 4. Adding materials. Yeah, you had unwrapped your UVs. But this fact doesn't mean that the faces are not distorted. Before I go on explaining how the UV layout works, I want to show you a way how to check your UV layout by adding a checker material. Well, a checker texture is just an image for checking your UVs. You can download this image in my video description. It is very important that your UVs are unfolded as good as possible. If you haven't ensured a nice UV layout, you get a grotesque result on your mesh. I will show you this now. Go to Material tab. Select New. Assign this material to your selection. Go now to Texture tab. Press Create New. Scroll down till you find image and select the button open. Now select your checker texture. Well, there is still no texture on my mesh. Check that you are in solid mode. If you haven't opened this column on the right side, press N to call this up. Scroll to shading and enable texture solid. Ok, this is still not done yet. Go now to your UV editor panel and click the button Browse image to be linked. There you will find your checker texture now. Nice! We managed to show our texture on the 3D mesh. 
but now you see that the texture is very distorted. The reason for this is that the UV island isn't folded out in a nice way and that our mesh doesn't have any seams. What is an UV island? I will show you to make a quick setup for UV seams on a cube to get the basics behind this function. 5. UV seams, UV islands and basics for a UV layout. For creating a UV layout you need to define seams on your 3D mesh. You can compare placing seams with a scissor cut. The aim is to place your seams in a nice way so you can unfold your UVs in the editor as flat as possible. We have here a basic cube. No seams are defined yet. Just our checker texture is assigned as a material. If you press U and select unwrap we get no result. All UVs are overlapped in the 00, zero corner of the UV editor. No single face can relax in any way. To fix this I need to define some seams. Seams are always selected edges which connect two vertices. If I select all edges and press Ctrl E I get the edge window. Select mark seams. Now all your edges are at the same time seams. If you press U again and unwrap, you get this result. Every single face of the mesh is unfolded perfectly and fits as well to my UV space. You see that our faces share all the same UV space and texture. Every face got a different space of the texture and show only a small part of the texture. If you want to create now a 2D texture with the help of our UV grid, it is possible to save this UV layout by pressing here UVs and select export UV layout. But I want to show you a little bit more what you can do with UVs, so stay a little bit longer. If you select now a single face and unwrap it, the UVs fill out the whole UV space in editor. You see in this 3D view that your face uses the whole texture now. Now you can select another face and unfold this again. A shortcut for unwrapping a selection again is the key E. But care, in this 3D view E stands for extrude. But if you have your mouse cursor in the UV editor, E unwraps your selection again. Well. You have learned now how to set UV seams and unwrap your faces in the UV editor. But is it possible to create a connected UV grid so that my texture wraps around the cube? Sure. Such a combination of faces in the UV editor is called UV island. Select all and press Ctrl E to call up the edge window. Select clear seam and remove all your created seams. Now we need to think about where we want to define our seams, that everything is connected as one single UV island. I want that my top face is the origin for my UV island. Select now all edges which define the seed depth of our cube and mark them as its seam. But this is still not working. I need to define three of the four ground edges as well as a seam, so that my UV island can relax perfectly. Now select all faces and unwrap them again. Very nice! We have created an undistorted UV island. Every single face is connected with each other. If the checker texture is not showing perfectly squares on our mesh, you know immediately that something is wrong. You can move your UV island and watch the texture movement. I guess I gave you now a nice basic understanding how the UV editor works and what you need to care about. Next time we will start to create a nice layout for our 3D character and learn how to work together with materials. If you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you like this little tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further tutorials. We love the creating tutorials, but we need as well some support. 
Become our patron and help us to help you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again. Cheers.